So the plan is uh, I'm here until all the patients are out of Belleville. So there's a doctor over there, an ICU doctor over there as well, who will take care of any emergencies until everyone's gone. Then when they're all gone, he'll come here and I go home and sleep. Gotcha. Yeah. How many patients do you have so far this morning? Uh, nine. Nine. Mm-hmm. And are you you're still waiting on a couple more? All of our patients are here as of right now. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, so tell me, I see you patients. Yeah. yeah. I sure. That we have a few more. Sure. Hospital wide, yeah, okay. they're not all here yet. Okay. All right. So tell me a little bit about the transition. What were you worried about, and what went well? What could have been uh, worried about everything, but you know, fortunately, all my fears were actually uh, allayed. I mean, the preparation was was superb. They had a lot of different triage meetings and um, really a lot of things set up to help everyone get prepared for the move, and so today went extremely smoothly. I mean, the nurses did a great job. The administration prepared everyone for the move, and I think that uh, it was executed really, really well. So I'm sure you got to see the hospital before today. So uh, what do you think now that you're actually here? The the hospital is beautiful. I mean, it is a beautiful hospital, and I've been in many hospitals, and this one is is exceptional. The the, uh, aesthetics are very pleasing. I think that patients will really enjoy being out here. I mean, you know, hopefully they don't have anything too serious, but but it's definitely a nice place to work for the staff and for the patients to be a part of. Um, so uh, tell me a little bit about um, what's new in the ICU here versus what you worked with in Belbo. Sure. So actually, pretty exciting. We have a couple of machines that are, are non-invasive cardiac output monitors that are, are new to us here. Uh, they're going to help us to determine whether a patient uh, can receive more fluid, which is a, a question that we always have in the ICU, non-invasively. So it'll be a nice test to get that doesn't require any additional needle pokes or sticks and you know lowers infection risk and it'll be a useful test to have on top of that I mean the organization of the unit is pretty nice instead of having three separate ICUs which we had in Belleville we have just one ICU so all the nurses are in the same area Um, you know there's not a lot of uh, distance to cover for any patient issues that might arise so the layout is much more um, easy to access for us make your job a lot easier we'll find out so far so far it's been great Mm -hmm. yeah yeah okay Uh, is there anything you'd like to add no again i'm very impressed with everything everyone's done today this move could not have been gone could not have been any smoother than it was it was done very well you know again the nurses did a great job the ems teams all did a wonderful job um you know administration really had a lot of uh input in in getting everyone ready for it, and I think that it helped quite a bit.